Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Connect. So in this session, we will learn how to issue a manual check in SAP and then record it in check register. After that, we will execute a report as well for that particular account and see whether our reporting is appearing, whether the check we have recorded in the check register is appearing in the check register or not. So my client is 800, user ID is SAP user. Now I'm giving my password. Now, first of all, what I will do is, I don't know whether the invoice is really pending for any vendor. So first of all, I will just go to vendor line item display, report. FBL1N is the T code, I'll hit enter. Here, I will give my company code. So my company code is SS41. Here I'll simply click on drop down. So let's say I'm looking for Sharat Patta. I remember the name of the vendor. So this is the vendor. Let's see. Open items I want to see. Open items till today's date, right? 3rd of December 2021. I'll click on execute. So I'll leave these three right I'll simply look in this invoice in this particular invoice so this is a 15,000 invoice right 15,000 amount invoice created on 12th of December that is today on today's date only so what I will do is I'll simply go back now I know that I need to make payment to the vendor first so what I will do is I will simply type forward slash n in the transaction bar and then type the t code f-53 f-53 now i'll hit enter now in this screen you will be you will be brought to the screen from where we post outgoing payment to the vendor so here you need to give your document date other details are automatically filled so i will not fill all the details First of all, I'm making payment against the vendor invoice. After that, I will show you how to create the check because these are the required step in order to create a manual check and then recording it in check register. So what I'll do is I have given my bank jail, check issue jail. So from this jail, I'm going to make the payment to the vendor. Here, I will give the amount. So amount is 15,000. We have already checked that we have an invoice of 15,000. Value date in today's date only, I'm going to make the payment. So here I will mention payment to vendor and here I will choose the vendor. So I don't remember the vendor number. So here I will simply type the name of the vendor. So this is our vendor. I've, now I'll hit enter. So now in this case what I will do is I will simply deselect. First of all I will select all wait click on deselect all so first of all i'll select all and what i will do is i'll just click on this and apart from that i will deactivate all items and i'll activate this item only right so now what i will do is I'll simply so I want to make payments against this only right so the amount entered is 15,000 this is the invoice on 3rd of 3rd of December so I want to make payment against this only so now what I will do is I will simply save this document so the doc payment document is 15075 now what I will do is I'll simply go back first now in this here in the transaction bar I will type the t code fch5 so this code this t code is used for manual check creation now i'll hit enter so it automatically picked the payment document number because recently in the and recently we posted the payment so it automatically picked the last document number we have posted so the company code is paying company code is ss41 fiscal year is 2021 here in house bank i'll click on drop down and here i'll select the house bank here in account id 
I will give check issue account because I'm doing check issue and check number so I don't know until which check is until which number the check is consumed in the check lot so to check that I will simply click on the T code F I will simply type the T code FCHI and hit enter here I will click on this change button so before that I need to give the house bank so the house bank is your access and account ID is 8888 for check issue here I'll click on this change button so here I am able to see the check lot so this is my first lot and in that I have consumed 17 checks so the next check will be 100 218 so what I will do is I'll simply go back to this screen here I will give the check number and I'll hit enter so it automatically picked up the details of that particular vendor now I'll save it by pressing ctrl s or simply clicking here right so here you can see check ss41 access 8888 100 218 created manually now I have created the check now I need to record it into the check register so to record the check in the check register so first of all I'll type the t I'll type forward slash n in the transaction bar for a new session and here I will give the t code FCHN. Here, what I will do is I will simply select the paying company code. I'll not select the drop down because I know my company code. House bank is your access and account ID is 8888. Now, in bank key, I don't remember the bank key, so I'll simply copy it from here. I'll paste it now in bank account to see the bank account number we can go to the T code FI12 here I'll press enter so this is 41 here this is this is the bank account we have now in now this is the house bank we have now to see the bank accounts we'll simply double click on this and here we are able to see the bank account now we are doing it from check issue so i'll simply copy the bank account from here and i will paste the bank account number here check number is 100 218 currency is inr and amount is 15000 now i'll simply click on execute and it will be recorded in check register now let's see i'll go to new session again i'll click on fchn Check register right here I'll give my company code I should not have selected that this is 41 house bank is access account ID is 8888 I'll simply execute so here if I will drop down So this is the check I have created. So from here, payment method check created manually because we created this check manually. Here, 100, 218 is our check payment document, and this is the date payment date, and this is the detail of that particular vendor against which we made the payment. This is the amount we have paid. So this is how we record. First of all, we create the check manually in SAP, then record it into the check register. And after that, what we do is uh, we'll execute the report and see whether it is recorded perfectly or not. So that is all in this session. We'll cover more things about the check check program in SAP later. Thank you.